Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus pre-recording video. This is our lesson 8 for the summer semester. Finding the exact value of the trigonometric functions under the given conditions. So there are uh, three different types of problems that we will discuss here. All of them are related to finding the exact value under the given uh, uh, different circumstances. So uh, these are the agenda, finding the exact value of the each expression, finding the exact value under the conditions, and then practice for problem and homeworks. So let's, let's look. First of all, for solving these maths, we will need a couple of formulas here, and these are the uh, formulas. Uh, these are the, this is called sum and difference formula. See, alpha plus beta, alpha minus beta, this is the sum. This is the difference. This is the sum. This is the difference. So these are the sum and difference formula. So uh, like cos alpha plus beta equals to cos alpha cos beta, and they can be established in uh, different ways. Uh, one way is actually uh, given in the book also. And those who are interested, have a look. Uh, you can have a look there. We will try to use them in different uh, circumstances. How can this be helpful? Uh, for example, if the angle is uh, unknown and uh, we do not know the, so in some cases we do not, we may not know the exact value uh, of the individual angle, but uh, when we add them, we know that. So that kind of situation it helps. Uh, you will see it in a while where it helps, where we use this kind of formula. One example is here: cos seven pi by uh, twelve. Cos seven pi by twelve equals to um, cos 7 pi by 12 because let me find out the, we could uh, we could do the calculation here also 7 into 180 divided by 12 so 105 degree so uh, for 105 degree cos 105 degree we do not know the exact value of it but uh, we can we can do some calculations we can do some work here after that actually we will know it look at this how can we solve it so this is cos 7 pi by 12 we can write it this way this is 12 plus 12 let's uh, break it down and 7 pi we can write it uh, let's say 4 pi plus 3 pi 4 pi plus 3 pi why we are writing it like this why not other there are many other combinations suppose 5 pi plus 2 pi also 7 pi but uh, you will notice that when you cancel out 4, 4 and 12 then it will become uh, pi by 3 and we know the pi by 3 value for cosine or for sine we know that so that's why we are technically trying to write some uh, known value which we can apply here so um, this equals to this equals to cosine this this cancel out so it becomes pi by 3 this this cancel out so it becomes pi by 4 so this is cos a, a plus b cos alpha plus beta this formula so we can use this formula to find it out we cannot we cannot directly write cos alpha equals to what then plus cos beta equals to what not like that this will this way it will not work we will have to use their uh, sum uh, and difference formula for uh, all the maths wherever it applicable wherever it uh, comes of this kind of this form suppose if you get cos alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta alpha minus beta some angle minus some angle or some angle plus some angle then we will have to use their respective formula for 10 also we have this formula anyway so first formula if we use this is uh, cos alpha cos alpha means first angle uh, so pi by 3 you can actually swap also if necessary because they will not make any difference cos alpha then cos beta beta is the second angle here then minus sin alpha minus sin alpha and sin beta in the in the in the exam we will actually give this formula in the paper so that you can use take the help but if you want to keep it in mind keep this formula in mind then the trick is cos for cos formula the thing comes cos cos for the sine formula cos and sine is different thing 
uh, both comes uh, separately cos sine for the sine formula but for cos formula cos cos see cos formula cos cos yeah. so there's the relationship there oh let's write here angle so sine alpha sine beta sine alpha means pi by 3 and uh, sine beta means pi by 4 now we will put the value cos uh, uh, pi by 3 pi by 3 means 60 degree cos 60 degree means 1 by 2 then uh, this is cos pi by 4 pi by 4 means 45 degree cos 45 degree means 1 by root 2 or root 2 by 2 root 2 by 2 is better because they send the numerator uh, rationalized denominator we have here sine pi by 3 sine pi by 3 means uh, 3 60 degree uh, sine 60 degree means root 3 by 2 and uh, sine uh, 45 degree means root 2 by 2 so ultimately what we have here is this is root 2 and this is uh, root 2 root 3 so um, this is root 2 by 4 this is uh, root 6 by 4 so if we take 4 common it becomes like this root 2 minus root 3 into root 2 means root 6 so this is the final solution of this math this is the final solution of this math and this way we can solve so first we have we will have to break it down in such a way so that we have some common angles sometimes we will have to use some other tricks uh, for example sometimes we may have to use like Mm, we may have to use uh, like the even uh, like the periodic property also to get to the point so uh, there are many uh, forms also sometimes the math uh, if the angle is a little bit larger then we will have to use the even property also so that's the thing uh, for for bigger angle uh, for bigger angle suppose for bigger maths like this we, we may have to use some other uh, techniques or properties uh, to get the to get to the point suppose sine 17 pi by uh, 12 what you write here sine 17 pi by 12 so what can we do about this so what can we do is look at this if we write 2 pi here if we write pi here 12 12 plus 5 okay so there is one a solution like 2 pi minus see this uh, this is 12 then uh, this is 12 into 2 means uh, 24 24 uh, uh, minus if we write here uh, 17 to get 17 7 pi uh, 17 so this equals to actually this equals to actually 17 pi by 12 12 into 2 means 24 24 minus 7 means 17 why we are writing like this the reason is since the period of sine is 2 pi then we can just simply remove this number from here so it becomes 7 pi by 12 so see the math is uh, becoming like the math that we already solved and there is a minus here so bring this minus out of the bracket because for sine and uh, for sine cos cosec uh, tan cot if there is minus with the angle minus will come outside only for only for cos minus will vanish only for cos and uh, sec minus will vanish because of they are the even even function that's all so this way now if this math looks like the math we have already, already solved we used here their periodic property to to make the angle smaller uh, to make the angle smaller this way then the remaining task is just the math that we solved just like the math we solved we will just have to keep this minus outside the bracket okay then we will do the math here like that so there will be a minus uh, with the, whatever the answer we get or we can if uh, possible we can uh, we can blend this minus with the solution so that's uh, another way to do it so this is a type of math actually and there are another type of math is like this suppose uh, sine 20 degree cos 60 degree cos 60, 20 degree sine 60 degree we do not know their value sine 20 degree goes to what we do not know sine cos 60 degree goes to what 80 degree goes to what we don't we do not know that because they are not a standard value that's why but look at this if we can make a formula this is negative so sine cos so different thing that means sine formula and this is negative so this must be the formula sine cos cos sine c sine cos cos sine so this is sine alpha minus beta so this equals to sine alpha sine alpha minus beta so alpha is the first one 20 degree minus 80 degree 
so 20 degree minus 80 degree means uh, 60 degree so sine minus 60 degree and then uh, this minus as you have seen for sine and for sine and tan this minus can, comes outside so it will become minus sine 60 and then uh, uh, minus sine 60 means uh, uh, root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 sine 60 means root 3 by 2 so minus will be there so even if we don't know the standard value of uh, some angles but in some cases but of course it's not always in some cases we can uh, use this formula to bring it to some known angle then we can solve the math okay so this way this math helps uh, and this is true for all of them this is true for all of them we have actually a lot of practice math this is related to 10 and you can see this is plus so that means this formula will be here so this is 10 alpha plus beta so 10 20 plus 25 degree 10 20 plus 25 degree means 10 45 degree and 10 45 degree means 1 so answer is 1 here already we can say so in some maths although it looks that difficult and scary, this math answer is 1 although sometimes math looks bigger but still they can be very easy when you know the trick uh, and and yeah they works uh, in in some regular and symmetric way so what can we do here this is plus so plus formula so 10 alpha plus beta alpha is 20 beta is uh, 25 20 plus 25 5 means 45 so it is 10 45 10 45 means 10 45 means uh, 1 there are more maths we will try to solve uh, a couple of maths from here in the class this is another type of math where we have the conditions given conditions and this kind of math we solved actually in our uh, in our previous class but uh, in this case they comes with some extra layer of difficulty so uh, that's the thing extra layer of difficulty means this is somewhat some kind of like uh, double work here in a way we can say let me show you why it is extra layer of difficulty compared to our uh, previous uh, le previously solved maths of course nothing is difficult everything is comparative always keep it in mind everything is comparative let's say we want to solve a math from here let's uh, solve 35 number from here uh, 10 alpha equals to minus 4 by 3 uh, the, the condition is pi by 2 and pi so this must be here yeah. and 10 alpha equals to let's take a let's take a straight line from here so it must be something like something like this and something like this and there must be some 90 degree here so we have it there so now 10 alpha equals to minus 4 by 3 and we know that 10 equals to uh, opposite by high uh, adjacent so that means this must be 4 this side must be 4 this side must be 4 and this side must be 3 but where there is a minus here and which one will be minus and we know that this is since this is a negative x so minus will be here we have to be careful about that minus will be here and this 4 is not the circle by the way this 4 is this uh, adjacent this this uh, opposite side this 4 is here and the angle is here and you know this uh, 3 4 is a Pythagorean triplet so uh, this will be 5 from the Pythagorean theorem we know that this will be 5 now once you know this sine you can find out sine alpha equals to what so sine alpha will be equals to 4 divided by 5 then we can find out cos alpha equals to what cos alpha equals to will become minus 3 divided by 5 and we can find out 10, 10 alpha is already given so let's write it here just for uh, just for making it uh, uh, making it useful for our maths uh, when we need need the value so so this is the this is the value so we, as we said extra layer of uh, uh, difficulty means uh, now we, we, we will have to work on another uh, another thing normally one box is given and you do the math you have the answer and you do, do the math but here you have another given value so we will have to use the same process same rules to find out to find out the other value 
so first of all look at this this is 0 and pi by 2 that means the angle must be here and this and this this so 90 degrees here so this is the theta this is this is this all beta is here this beta is here and this is 1 divided by 2 and this is cosine so 1 must be here and 2 must be here and by using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find out this and this will be, suppose this is x, this will be x equals to uh, square root of 2 square minus 1 square. So it is uh, 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, that means this will be root 3. This will be root 3. So this side will be root 3. Root 3 is here. Root 3 is here. So once you have it, actually, we can find out, we can find out the uh, uh, sine beta equals to what? So sine beta equals to, now all the angle is beta. Sine beta equals to, uh, sine beta equals to root 3 by 2. Then cos um, beta equals to, already given. Let's still write it here, cos beta equals to 1 by 2 and tan beta equals to tan beta equals to root 3 tan beta equals to root 3 so we have it uh, we only have the value is still uh, we st we uh, we have to start the math now we just uh, have found their values okay sine alpha equals to what sine beta equals to what sine uh, etc etc equals to what this angle is beta by the way this angle is beta how to write it how to write it this angle is beta let me write it like this and here this angle is beta and this angle is alpha this angle is alpha these all are greek alphabet actually we use them to denote uh, when there is multiple angles different different angles then we use alpha beta gamma when there is one angle normally we, we just straight go for giving the theta okay now we'll start doing the math. Let me show you how to do it. So first one is uh, sine alpha plus beta a number. I'll just show you so that you can uh, do the math, other maths by yourself. Main part is here. One of the main part is here because the other part is uh, using the formula. So sine alpha plus beta is this formula. Let me write it. Sine alpha. Sine alpha plus beta. Sine alpha, sine alpha plus beta equals to this. So this equals to sine. Formula is uh, cos sine alpha cos beta, sine alpha cos beta. Oh, this plus. Okay, cos. There is actually minus also. There is also minus also cos beta. But first math is related to related to plus cos alpha sin beta that is spelling is alpha a l p h a alpha a l p h a alpha this is called alpha and this one is beta b e t a beta this is cause this is beta so this is the spelling if you if, if, if you are interested sine alpha so sine alpha value is 4 by 5 so let's let use 4 by 5 here then cos beta value is cos 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 beta value is half so this is half then plus cos alpha cos alpha value is minus 3 by 5 so minus 3 by 5 and sine beta value is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 so this line becomes 4 by 10 and this line becomes uh, minus this minus will come here then 3 root 3 divided by 10 so you have if we take the lcm then it becomes 4 minus 3 root 3 divided by 10 so this is the 
answer of a number this is the answer of a number similarly we can uh, do the other maths cos alpha plus beta equals to you have to use the cosine form uh, formula cos alpha plus beta equals to cos alpha cos beta sine alpha sine beta then we put it here we put the value into the math but uh, there is a, I will show you the last one because there is a little complication in the last maths so let me show you that there is a little bit uh, extra layer of difficulty in the uh, last one although you know that but but still let me show you that uh, what type of uh, situation you may sometimes encounter this is tan alpha minus beta so d number and we are solving now d number tan alpha minus beta means this formula tan alpha minus tan beta so this formula we will directly put the value just to uh, just to have the space here because it will be calculation will be a little bit longer so tan alpha minus tan beta so first of all tan alpha is this value minus 4 by 3 then uh, tan beta means minus there is a minus then beta means root 3 so it will be minus root 3 okay this minus is here this minus then 1 plus 1 plus tan alpha tan beta so tan alpha means minus 4 by 3 and tan beta means root 3 so after putting the value you will have like this we will have like this now let's try to uh, simplify it so this is 3 this is minus 4 and this is 3 root 3 when you do the LCM because there is nothing down here so 1 1 divided by 3, uh, 3 divided by 1 means 3 3 into this means 3 root 3 now for this part for this part oh this there will be minus here because this value is negative minus 4 by 3 that's why so we have it um, so if I do it in one line this will become 3 so this is 3 and this will become uh, minus 4 root 3 so minus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 now you see uh, this is divided by 3 this is also divided by 3 so basically if you flip it if you write this into 3 will go, go up and this 3 minus 4 3 will come down and eventually this 3 and this 3 will cancel out this 3 and this 3 will cancel out because of because you see if you write into this 3 will go up so that means 3 and 3 cancel out so it will be it will be here so ultimately this line will become this line will become let's use it no problem so minus 4 minus 3 root 3 divided by 3 minus 4 root 3 4 3 minus 4 root 3 so we will have it like this but this is not the end this is where uh, 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 it starts like with one uh, extra layer because uh, this is 4 root 3 and this is actually uh, this root 3 is irrational number so we have to make uh, rationalize the denominator and to rationalize the denominator our technique is same before we rationalize the denominator before you rationalize the denominator you can actually multiply up and down by a negative sign to remove all these extra negatives and this will become positive this will become positive and then this will look like uh, uh, this will be 4 root 3 minus 3 if you do that but without doing that also you can do which you will uh, see it here uh, that means in two way you can proceed here this is what i i mean by this anyhow so we will uh, multiply this is 4 minus 3 root 3 and this is 3 minus 4 root 3 so you see we want to eliminate root 3 from here from down here that's why we will, we will have to multiply by this this down thing okay that this is how we know you can say sir how do i know that i have to multiply by this or that so this will we will always know it which one we want to eliminate from that we will know that so this is uh, 3 minus 4 root 3 we will have to multiply both up and down by this so it will become 3 minus uh, oh le this is minus so let's multiply it by plus okay let's multiply it by plus we will have to do that because the formula is formula is a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square so if you see minus here we will have to multiply by uh, the plus if you see plus here we will have to multiply by the 
minus to match the formula and to eliminate it later. So now we have it like um, um, we, we can multiply it now. This is minus 4, this is 3. So minus 4 and 3 means minus 12. This is minus 4 and this, this is this. So this will be minus 16 root 3. 4 into 4 means 16. Then root 3 will remain there. This is minus 3 and this is uh, only 3. So that means 9 minus 9 root 3. This is 3 and this is 4. That means 12. So minus 12. Okay. See, there are uh, tons of negative sign coming. So if you remove the negative sign from this line, then all of them will be positive. So that's another way. And this is a squared minus b squared. So it will become 3 squared minus 4 root 3 all squared. a squared minus b squared a plus b into minus b. That's the formula. So what we have here is down here we have 9 and we have 4 uh, into 4, uh, 4 into 4 equals to 16, 16 into 3 equals to uh, 48. Okay, and here we have uh, 12 and this is, oh this one actually 3 into 3, right, 3 into 3, 3 into, uh, this one actually, uh, 3 into 3, this will give us 3. So, two, 3, 4, and 3. 36. So, total will be 36 here. Let's, uh, let me show you that. Oh, this, this part here, it will become 3 into 4, that means 12. 3 into 4 means 12. And 3 into, root 3 into root 3 means again 3. So, 12 into 3 means 36. Total is 36. So we have uh, here 12 and here 36, so total is 48, that means minus 48. And here we have 16 and 9, that means 25, that means minus 25 root 3, like this. Now this is 48, this is um, 9, so 48 minus 9 means minus 39. And this is minus 48 minus 25 root 3. So you see we have a lot of minus here. And if you multiply by a negative sign in the up and down, then everything will be just all of them will become plus. You multiply it by because we can multiply up and down by the same thing always. So it will become plus, it will become plus. You can write one more line, but that line will look like this. This is what it means. And that will be the final answer. If we multiply up and down by a negative sign, since all of them are negative, so all of them will become positive. This is what I mean. Okay, so 48 plus 25 root 3, 25 root 3 divided by 39, that is the final answer for T number. And why why we have to come up until here? The reason is there is a there is a root in the uh, there is a root in the downside in the denominator and uh, uh, we need to rationalize the denominator. That is the reason why we came up until here. But normally, if there is no root in the down here, then this line will be the answer. And in this line, uh, you, you, you could stop. Okay. So, um, that is the thing. But uh, to rationalize it, we have to just uh, uh, go for this one more layer. All right, so this is the process for solving these maths. Uh, hopefully, we will try to solve this kind of maths more uh, in the class. And actually, we have uh, more maths also here uh, in, in our section. This is uh, section 7.5. Uh, if you go to the section, then you will have this kind of math. And we will try to solve this kind of math during the class also. These are the, these are this, uh, this kind of maths we practice from different sections. So if you have time, give a try to uh, pra practice these maths. So that's all for today. Thank you all. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. See you all in the class. Bye.